morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. How y'all doing? It's Kaiser. And we're talking a little bit about the Roadhouse remake starring Jake Gyllenhaal, directed by Doug Lehman. And some very interesting things that apparently have been talked about with how that movie performed. And the, the straight off of the title from the Variety article, Roadhouse director Doug Lehman says 50 million people streamed the film, but quote, I didn't get a cent. Jake Gyllenhaal didn't get a cent. That's wrong, unquote. So yes, the director is saying that basically him and Jake Gyllenhaal didn't get any residual off of the 50 million streams that that movie had after it was released onto streaming. Now, they obviously do have pay and pay structures for, like, during the production and whatnot. But a lot of, like, the bulk of what these people and the crews, the cast, all that make, it comes from residuals from how well it performs in the theaters. Well, this movie went to streaming, and allegedly a lot of people saw it. The question, of course, is, like, why didn't they apparently get paid for that streaming well there's a little bit of information to dig into here let's kind of read into this and see what happens and we'll kind of make let you make your own conclusions from there roadhouse director doug lehman is still frustrated over the streaming release of his jake gyllenhaal led action movie telling indiewire while promoting his new apple movie the instigators that his anger stems from not being properly compensated for the streaming release Roadhouse was initially conceived as a theatrical release for MGM. Plans changed when MGM was purchased by Amazon. Quote, First of all, I have no issue with streaming, Lehman said. We, have, we need streaming movies because we need writers to go and work and directors to go to work and actors to go to work and not every movie should be a th movie in a movie theater. So I'm a big advocate of TV series and streaming movies and theatrical movies. We should have it all. My issue on Roadhouse is that we made the movie for MGM to be in theaters. Everyone was paid as if it was going to be in theaters, then Amazon switched it on us, and nobody got compensated, he said. Forget about the effect on the industry. 50 million people saw Roadhouse. I didn't get a cent. Jake Gyllenhaal didn't get a cent. Producer Joel Silver didn't get a cent, and that's wrong, unquote. Amazon reported at the start of April that Roadhouse attracted 50 million viewers worldwide over its first two weekends of availability on Prime Video. Those numbers made it to the studio's most watched produced film debut ever on a worldwide basis, Amazon added at the time. However, Lyman claims that he never saw a cent of back-end pay from the film's blockbuster streaming numbers. Variety reached out to Amazon for comment but did not hear back. Gee, I wonder why. Lehman originally planned to boycott the world premiere of Roadhouse at South by Southwest due to the film's streaming release. Let's say sources familiar with the negotiations said that Lyman and Gyllenhaal and producer Joel Silver were given a choice, make the film for $60 million and get a theatrical release, or take $85 million and go streaming only. They opted for the latter, and it's unclear what the terms of the deal was in, in terms of back pay. Gyllenhaal later confirmed the report in an interview with Total Film Magazine. Quote, I adore Doug's tenacity, and I think that he's advocating for filmmakers and film and cinema and theatrical releases, but I mean, Amazon was always clear it was streaming, Gyllenhaal said at the time. I just wanted uh, as many people to see it as possible, and I think we're living in a world that's changing in how we see and watch movies and how they're made. What's clear to me and what I loved so much was Lehman's deep love for the movie and his pride in how much he cares for it, how good he feels is, and how much people should see it, unquote. Lehman's issue now is with the lack of compensation based on the film's giant streaming numbers. Say Amazon announced in May that a sequel to Roadhouse is officially in development with Gyllenhaal set to reprise the lead role. Lehman's involvement is not known at this time. The studio added that Roadhouse has attracted 80 million global viewers on Prime Video by the middle of May after launching March 21st. So it had done pretty well in the theater, or well, not, not in theaters, on streaming. The movie did great, did a lot of good business on theaters. God, I keep saying it. You know, the movie did a lot of good business in on streaming. The problem is, apparently, 
the crew is claiming, or at least, uh, you know, Doug Lyman is claiming that they're not getting paid for that. Like all the residual from that there's, and there seems to be some differentiation here between himself and Gyllenhaal in basically <laughs> Gyllenhaal saying that, yeah, we always knew that it was going to be going to streaming and Doug saying, yeah, well, uh, it was never supposed to go to streaming and now we feel screwed about it. There's a lot of information kind of in the dark about this one, but I thought it was an interesting case because I mean, we remember back during the, the Hollywood strike Streaming was a big topic of conversation and how things were going to be going forward on that. And there are a lot of unanswered questions that I think we need to kind of figure out going forward. And as we kind of come to grips with the new technology and the new set situation that we find ourselves in. But more to the point, let me know what you guys are thinking down there in the comment section down below. I'm interested to see what your thoughts on this one are. And definitely hit that like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.